Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Anime Convention Beginner's Guide. We're going to talk about how to build the costume today. All the materials you can use, all the tools that you need, the adhesives that work on certain surfaces, not on others, things to use, some things to avoid, um, cheap ways to get around stuff, all that stuff. We're going to do it all. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to get this thing off here. Yeah. <clears throat> That's getting hot too. Um, I know what you guys are thinking. Um, I don't need to dress up to show you how to build a costume and I'm just being a show off. And You're right! I'm having fun! And you will too. The, when you finish your first costume, you're going to have a certain level of pride. You're going to want to wear it everywhere. You're going to want to wear it right away. You still have to wait for the convention though, because if you wear it in the public, they're going to lock you up and that's probably no fun. Before I get started though, um, I'm going to switch out of this because I just found out I was talking to a camera that was turned off for like an hour. This is hot and sweaty and itchy and, and you know, dealing with like felt and stuff. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah, and yeah, it's this, this, this wobble, wobble, wobble. Hey, listen to my voice. Freaking voice is gone. Wobble. Yeah, I'm going to help you avoid the wobble. Um, this was kind of a... It was really a last-minute costume. I really just threw it together. Not a whole lot of planning in the weapon at, at all. Or any of the... I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you how to avoid that. I'm going to show you a bunch of cool stuff. But I'm going to get out of this itchy thing. So, yeah, you don't even have to wait because I'm going to edit. And it's going to clip next to the... No, uh, okay. And there I am. Poof! I'm back. I'm a ninja. All right. I'm Mordecai, but at least I'm not hot and itchy anymore. Um, it's a little easier to get around in, and yeah. Um, now, not not under business. We can do stuff and things. A combination of stuff and things. Yeah, materials. Uh, I recommend starting out with cardboard and duct tape. That's you know beginners stuff. I still use cardboard and duct tape because it's durable, um, reliable. You can knock it back into shape if you need to. The downside there is it's never going to look great. Um, looks better for, from a distance and it's it, it's still fun to wear but you're never going to win like a, a master masquerade level thing or anything like that but yeah still a lot of fun. Works pretty well. Okay so to begin with you want to kind of try to get all your materials together before you start. Um, a lot of people build their costumes as they go. Some people don't use any plans really at all. Um, yeah. I, uh, I recommend uh, boxes, cardboard boxes. Doesn't, doesn't need to be anything fancy. Don't buy cardboard for the purpose of a costume. Especially your first costume. A few easy sources of cardboard are right in front of your nose. I mean, cereal boxes, obviously you don't want the crushed ones really. I mean, you'll gather enough cardboard over time that you can kind of throw the bent ones out. Um, the pop cases, you know. Uh, shoe box, covers. Nice rectangle, sturdy, I guess. What? That's something. Um, the cardboard it doesn't really need to be thick. In fact, the thicker it is, the harder it is to work with because it's not going to bend very easily, um, and the heavier it gets. What I recommend is start with a thin cardboard. I use a lot of pop cases in in all my costumes. Uh, start with a thin cardboard. Put a layer of duct tape on the inside, or or um, rather. Use, like, gray duct tape everywhere that's not going to be seen. Um, depending on what the costume is and how sturdy it needs to be, sometimes you want to put a layer of gray on both sides and then color it with whatever you're going to use. I usually use more duct tape, another color. Um, you can also paint cardboard pretty easily. Um, depending on the paint you use, 
stay better than others. Um, uh, foil tape, tin tin foil, and da -da 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 -da. foil tape. It's expensive. It's hard to work with, but it's really shiny. Um, basics. This this is duct tape. It is your best friend. This will not only be the basis for holding your costume together, but it protects it. It it you can use it in so many different ways. You can you know have a little piece of it hanging off the end of the table so you can you know hold things together and pick it up and just be like okay it's gonna hold it'll hold there. It's, you don't need to use scotch tape. Scotch tape curls up real quick and all that kind of stuff. Um, don't drop it on the floor though because then it picks up all the uh, all the hair and stuff. Yeah, that's just annoying. You gotta get it all off before you do anything with it. Uh, so, cardboard, duct tape, um, tools. The first thing you want to get as far as tools are concerned is a multi-tool. Um, this here. This. I have made so many costumes with this little, this little ammo right here. Um, it's not even funny. It's got everything you need. It's got a pliers, knife, screwdriver. It's it's got a scissors. Freaking ah! This little scissors. Okay, you don't need. You don't need a big. This. You don't need this. Okay, this is good for the big heavy stuff that you need just to cut chunks out of. It's not very accurate. Okay, when you're cutting things like like. Um, really tight corners and, and thin cardboard or plastic, you want all the control you can get. And this, it's really hard on your thumb sometimes, and you might want to wear a glove, but this will get you the results you want. Um, I've made so much with this study. Uh, let's see. This. I mean, this has seen, this has seen better days, granted, but this was all made with this. Um, it's it's two liter bottles, um, you know, Mountain Dew, I think, mostly, because uh, it's, it's green plastic, and then underneath is, is tin foil over a layer of plastic from uh, gallon water jugs. It's, it's, uh, a gallon jug has all kinds of angles on it. You can use different shapes and stuff. It can be, this, this is all Gallon water bottle jugs, um, Mountain Mountain Dew two liter things, um, black duct tape. There's some foam inside. I'm gonna just show you kind of what's inside. You you can you just use your imagination. Anything around you can be turned into anything. You just have to look at the angle, um, how you can cut it apart, how you break it apart easily without ruining it, um, and. I kid you not, this is just different corners and stuff of different bottles. Just assembled into... This is Snake Man from Mega Man 3. Um, one of my first... My, my brother's first costumes. Um, this is... Uh, like, plastic hangers. Uh, another good friend of yours. Very useful. You know, they're, they're cheap enough. You, couldn't, you can cut a bunch of them apart, use them for different shapes. Um, Structural supports, and, you know, teeth. Okay. Um, inside, this is this is just a mask. This, this is just kind of. I'm gonna show you in a minute. But this get some foam. Nice and comfortable inside. It'll, it'll keep you. Uh, it'll keep your little brother from whining too much. Um, not sure if you want to try to put this on with that. It's, you know, it used to be all nice, and, yeah, th this thing's from our first convention, second convention, so it's five years old. And, you know, you want to keep certain pieces of your costumes for sentimentality, but, um, is that a word? Sentimentality? Sentimental reasons. I'll say that. Um, but, you know, they're, they're hard to store and, and protect, um. I really hope my head is not being cut off in the shot, because I don't want to reshoot all this. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I forgot where I was going with that. 
This is, uh, yeah, oh, um, over the top of this, uh, anywhere you want to hold things together and you don't have any place for adhesive or whatever, uh, use uh, packing tape. Not just any packing tape, you can get really like crystal clear packing tape. It, it's not the strongest, but to hold things together like the hinges, or the, the, the hinges, um, the edges of the different bottles, uh, because obviously it's going to take more than one bottle to do something like this. you got to cut them into different shapes and sizes and tape them together. Um, but yeah, let's see if I get this thing to... Okay. Yeah, it wasn't... This wasn't built for me, so it doesn't fit very well, and it's kind of falling apart, but you get the idea. You can make a helmet out of plastic bottles. It's... it's um... And the reason we did it this way is the Snake Man is, if you've never played Mega Man or never, don't know what it is, it's, um, well, Mega Man's a video game series, been around for like 30 years, whatever, um, 25, yeah, 25, uh, come on, brain, uh, yeah, green metal, okay, not many people have access to metalworking facilities, all right? Um, actually, you don't know any. If, if you know somebody with metalworking facilities, go for it. Go and, and you know, use, use their stuff, because I'm sure that that would be awesome. But um, this, you take the, the bottle, you put the tin foil over it. It's, you know, obviously it didn't turn out too smooth under there. Tin foil, then the colored plastic. Uh, colored plastic, you know, you might find a couple of different colors, but we got lucky here that, uh, you know, this was the right color for the character. Um, it gives the illusion of green metal. You know, here again, nothing's perfect. Your costume probably won't be perfect. It's just, just, just well, if nothing's perfect, of course it's not going to be perfect, but you get the idea. Don't worry about little nitpicky things. Um, I mean, you can go through it when your costume's completed and shine it up a little bit, you know, go over the little spots. Like, if I repair this, I'd have to go back in here and tape it back into place and make sure that there's all these little spots where there's, like, I guess, like here where the, the duct tape is facing sticky side up. I would probably go over that with another layer, a layer of black duct tape just to shine it up, make it make it look a little neater. Um, yeah, this this is all duct tape. This is yeah, okay. You can do anything with a little creativity and some duct tape. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Uh, don't worry, it's not over. It's just running really long, so I got to cut it in half, and it'll be loaded and a couple of different videos to YouTube. Um, it, you know, I'll, I'll put it up there right away so you don't have to wait. Um, but yeah, until next time, remember kids, only you can prevent con drama.